graduated from Amity in 86, so I've done more public speaking this week than I did in the last year. I didn't know if it I don't handle it too well, public speaking. So, my question I don't have any kids in the Amity school system, but I'm curious do we have an agricultural department at Amity? Any type of uh, training or anything like that in the schooling right now? Does anybody know of that? Because I look at Trumbull, and Trumbull has a great agricultural farming uh, school, and I'm thinking what would be a bad idea if one of these, if we expanded on that? with the Amity school system. So the kids get the opportunity to actually maybe make a decision besides becoming lawyers and accountants and God knows what else, uh, to think about actually expanding on the farms in this town. And maybe uh, instead of a golf course going out and having to worry about residents, but an actual farm opening up again in Amity would be a pretty awesome idea, I think. You know, can you imagine uh, like kids actually wanting to do something like that? I mean, once kids get their hands in the dirt, I think, Sometimes they actually love it and uh, be something to think about. I'm sure there's kids that work on a lot of farms now, but it's a close, like, uh, family situation. And uh, I would just think that maybe Amity could expand on that in a possible way. Uh, you know, I mean, it's not really a question, but maybe something to work on. Well, they do have, they, they have strong vocational education in Amity. They've worked hard to try and, and bring in vocational um, I'm, not I'm not familiar with agriculture. I know I actually know people who have gone to the Trumbull program. The Trumbull program is um, awesome. I, I, they have farming, I, animals. Yep, no, yeah, things. I'm familiar with the Trumbull program. Yep. Um, and I certainly know that Amity, as I said, has been trying to do more to, to, for the vocational because not everybody is cut out for a college education or wants a college education or wants to go for a four-year degree. And that's one of the reasons they were pursuing more of the vocational. Um, I am not familiar, and I'm not on the Amity board, and um, I was more Orange Board of Ed member as to them having an agricultural program, not to say that with a new superintendent it isn't something that could certainly explore. You have plenty of opportunity in the three towns to uh, have that. Because like, the way they do it on Daniel's Farms in Trumbull, they actually built it on the farms, and the kids go to a separate school there. And I think that that would be, you worry about like Heinz Farm and stuff like that. Imagine actually building a small vocational school and actually the kids learning hands-on how to milk cows, how to do all this stuff. And maybe it would be something that could expand on this uh, to give kids another opportunity than just becoming the lawyers, doctors, accountants, etc. You know, I mean, and then we wouldn't have to worry about these, you know, generation that doesn't want to take over the farm and selling it, that actually people would want to actually expand into that. Okay. All right, that's my... Two cents. Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to answer that. That's a yes. that's a good one, Brian. Pay attention. <laughs> there, Amity has a shared services agreement with two ag schools. The students from Orange are allowed to go to the Trumbull VOAG program, and Dominic Lombardi sitting here in the room is an attendant at that program. And he's an, he's an outstanding member there and an FFA member there. So we're very proud that you're in the room tonight. You're, yeah. You could talk to him about this afterwards. He'd like to know. I believe Woodbridge and Bethany go to Nanawag up in Woodbury, the other VOAG school. Why they split us when all three towns are in the district, but it's the way the map falls. But the surprise to some of you will be another hat that I do wear is that I am on the consulting committee of the Trumbull Agri-Science Program. And our next meeting is, I think, November 19th, if any of you would like to come and see what we discuss at that. So we do have shared services for agriculture with the Trumbull School, Brian, and I am on the uh, advising consulting committee for that as well. So as well as being with the state and the Department of Agriculture, I'm also on that one for the education of our children that wish to go in that way. However, I will say, this was one of the worst years that we've had as far as trying to find help in the summer that would actually work. There was help, <laughs> but weeding is no fun. Transplanting is no fun. So I did put calls out a couple times uh, by way of Facebook, and we did get some responses, and we had some great responses and some eh responses. But not too many kids like 
getting in the dirt, but we understand exactly what you're talking about, and there are a few out there that do enjoy it. So thank you for your question. Jody, any last thoughts on ag or vocational education? Well, I think what he was saying was, you know, instead of shipping our kids to Waterbury and Trumbull, was bringing you right into Woodbridge and our high school in Amity, and uh, I think that's an interesting opportunity. The Amity Board of Ed Chair is standing in the back, so he's listening and hopefully can take that to the superintendent and see what opportunities there would be for our students to stay at their own school of Amity and get the same type of program. Maybe we could build it there instead of a turf field. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'd like to now move to closing comments from the candidates. They'll have three minutes.